Monica Barnes' story touched many of our viewers. She's scheduled to give birth any day now. Many offered to help and did. In addition, St. Vincent de Paul is using its eviction prevention funds to pay her rent this month. But city leaders are concerned that Monica Barnes may be just the tip of the iceberg. The story that you all ran on Monica um, it was one that just said, look, uh, move faster. We have got to work harder and quicker. Cincinnati City Councilman Greg Landsman says the concern is with so many people out of work due to COVID-19, evictions could reach a critical number. In the midst of this crisis, uh, there is an urgency. We have some five, six, uh, uh, potentially 700 people facing eviction that are in the queue. Right now, the courts aren't processing evictions, but cases are expected to resume next month. Landsman says that buys time to get rents paid and court appearances canceled when the courts do open back up uh, completely uh, that uh, we have used this time very wisely to dramatically reduce the number of people that are in the queue uh, to be evicted because we got them the help they needed to stay in their homes and the money is available there's a lot of different pots of money but we can help people up to 2500 or, or almost three thousand dollars a month um, depending on the pot of money up to uh, 80 percent of the area median income. The Community Action Agency Legal Aid and St. Vincent de Paul can assist renters facing eviction, but a lot of people don't know that. Landsman says they're working with the United Way on one number to call to get what they need. We get that out to landlords and tenants, that information, which we'll do in the next week or so to ensure that people know exactly where to go and how to get the help. Because right now, eviction notices are piling up. These aren't just names on a spreadsheet. These are uh, real people facing uh, real issues. Lisa Smith, WCPO 9 News.